Hey guys, it's Stephen here back with another video on a lazy Sunday afternoon. Today I thought I'd talk about a much requested topic about life after Pep Guardiola. Yes, we have to front up to that at some point, maybe not anytime soon, hopefully, but at some point we're going to have to imagine a life without the bold one, the wonderful one, and it can happen. It can move on, uh, like we'll have to do after all this as well. But before I get into that video, I want to say thank you to The Athletic for partnering with me, uh, the new home of football writing with a team of world-class writers, including our very own family, the likes of David Onstein, Michael Cox, Jack Pitbrook, and many more. You can get 50% off now your annual subscription and a seven-day free trial over at theathletic.co.uk forward slash esteemed company. Right, so go and do it. Why not? You've got loads of wonderful articles, and it's a great, great way to distract yourself during this current period, uh, including articles such as this one, where there's an exclusive about the Premier League's hope of the 30% wage cut it was dashed after an utterly inconclusive player meeting. The thing that I took from that, which was really noticeable, was that... Um, Kevin De Bruyne was on the representatives for the football players. So in general, he was one of the people seen as senior, which suggests that he's representing Manchester City, which suggests that he's basically our captain in all but words. I love the fact that he's involved in that. But anyway, go and check it out. It's a wonderful, uh, it's a wonderful website with loads of great writers, and it's very much worth it. Athletic.co.uk forward slash esteem company. But yeah, we've got a whole list of names here to go through. Whole list of um managers and hopefully one of these will be able to step into Guardiola's shoes uh, when that day does finally come. I'm going to start with Julian Nagelsmann, the guy that everyone wants to be Manchester City's manager, pretty much. Well, not everyone, but loads of people want this guy and rightfully so. He's basically the hot prospect in management right about now. He's done incredible things at RB Leipzig. Um, he's only 32 years old as well. Now, his background in general is uh, he was managing the under, uh, Hoffenheim's under-19 team and he won the under 19s Bundesliga title with them. He got promoted to be the manager of uh, Hoffenheim and he saved them from relegation and then basically turned it around the next season and got them into the Champions League which is a hell of a turnaround for a team that was struggling. And then he went on to Leipzig and we all know what happened then. Leipzig are an incredible team with loads of great young players. He's improved loads of people and he's created an incredible team spirit uh, and a great attacking football as well and despite only being 32 he's got them challenging with the title with Bayern Munich. Absolutely phenomenal stuff and then um, it's not just the fact that he gets, gets great football as well. He's liked and respected by his players, but he's not taken for granted. He's also very kind of like... Um He's very focused, very meticulous, but he's not overbearing. Basically, he's a young lad who understands that players are young too. He's their age, so even though usually that can strip some of the authority, it means that he understands how they act, and he basically um, he gets through to them. I like this quote as well from him. He said, I don't tell the players who's starting until we're in the dressing room at the stadium. It maintains morale. There's a danger, particularly with young players, that they'll spend too long in front of the TV the night before a game thinking, oh, I'm not playing tomorrow. So I love that. I love that. I love the fact that um, he gets inside the players' heads and understands that they all have to be at the sharpest at any one moment. And he said of Guardiola, he's a role model, but idol is a term for people you know very well. Uh, so he does like Guardiola. He's a very good option. After that, uh, Ten Hag, uh, Ajax people really like this guy, um, and understandably, um, he won loads of fans with the way that Ajax played football last year. Obviously, they came from a, they came very close. They were a whisker away of reaching the Champions League final with a team built on incredible football, just young, talented players. Everyone loved Ajax last year, and and Haag had to take the credit for that, uh, for nurturing these wonderful players, the likes of De Ligt and obviously uh, many, many more. Um, what a team and what a manager. Uh, 50 years old as well, so he's got a bit of seniority about him. And he did also work with Guardiola at Bayern Munich. Uh, he was the manager of Bayern Munich, the second team, uh, so basically their, their B team. Did all right there for what I can gather, but then he went to Utrecht over in the Eredivisie, took them to fifth, then to fourth, then got the Ajax job. And obviously last year he won the Eredivisie um, and he was on course to win it again this season until everything happened. Um, and he's good. He's good. A lot of people like him. He's not had a job at the size of Manchester City yet or anyone else above Ajax's level. And with all due respect to Ajax, that is, of course, he's done well in the Champions League, but I'm talking about one of the... Um, I don't know, maybe he hasn't managed in Spain yet or uh, over in Germany or the Premier League. I'm not trying to put the Dutch League down, but they are historically, well, recently bigger leagues anyway. So he needs to prove himself on that front. But he seems a very attainable uh, prospect. And given the fact that he's a Cruyff disciple as well, he plays the same kind of football, very much cut from the same cloth as Guardiola, well, it makes an awful lot of sense for, I guess, consistency and, con and continuity, put it that way. Next is a very obvious option, uh, Pochettino. Uh, Pochettino. I'm pretty certain in Manchester City needed a manager tomorrow. They probably would go for Pochettino, given the fact that he's available and given the fact that he would want the job as well. Now, a lot of people have some reservations about Pochettino. Um, 
I, I mean, I understand them, and I, I probably had some myself personally before. But what one thing Pochettino does have is that he can work uh, and improve players. Yes, he did maybe plateau a little bit at Spurs, but that was always going to happen with a team vastly underinvested in. He didn't get anywhere near the resources that he needed at Spurs to invest in the squad. And eventually, uh, when he got to the point where his squad weren't responding to him, which can happen to any manager, Guardiola would say the same. He didn't get a chance to turn it around and invest in new players. But um, he's a guy who gets the best out of young young players. He's a guy that motivates. Players plays and improves them. He's a guy who's done wonders on a shoestring budget as Spurs. Yes, maybe he could have won something, but he never really had the resources that someone like Klopp's got or even Guardiola's got. So he's a very good manager, tactically aware. Uh, he gets players to perform really well and he's available and he's done it pretty well in a big league. Let's be honest, he's done a pretty good job at Spurs. After that, a very obvious one on this list is Mikel Arteta. Now, I know this guy is really just kind of cutting his teeth in this industry as in terms of manager, but obviously Arteta is absolutely hugely respected at Manchester City as a great coach. They, um, I wouldn't be surprised if Guardiola hung around and Arteta had hung around, or Guardiola is hanging around. If Arteta had hung around a little bit longer, if he'd actually stepped into Guardiola's shoes immediately after this. Honestly, City rate him that highly, and rightfully so. We've already seen so far some very encouraging signs at Arsenal that he knows how to coach a team. I know they haven't won a shitload of games while he's been the manager, but they have improved. Arsenal fans are enjoying the football again. He's also improving young players as well. He's getting them integrated with the first team. He's showing them a route to the first team and actually improving them. Basically, he's a good coach. He seems to be a very good coach and he hasn't really had the benefit yet of spending any money too. So Arteta knows Manchester City style. He knows the players. He's the right age. He knows Guardiola's methods loads. The only problem is, of course, um, if he does do well uh, at Arsenal to the point that we'd want him well he's done well at Arsenal and might not want to leave Arsenal because he wouldn't want to walk away from a job that is unfinished Arteta is very much high on this list but he could be very difficult to obtain if he does actually go on to prove uh, his potential though you might just think well I'll come back to City I'll get better uh better facilities, I'll get a better money to spend on players and all that kind of stuff and why not? Why not be the one that succeeds Guardiola? Though you might know that's also, uh, you're onto hiding with that kind of job because how do you follow Guardiola? Next is a name on the list that I think rightfully should be there, um, Brendan Rodgers. Uh, I know a lot of people laugh at Brendan Rodgers but he's a very good coach, man. He's just a good coach, Brendan Rodgers. He's done very good things at Leicester. He's made him one of the best teams in England again. Uh, obviously, they were there for a while and then they disappeared for a little bit and now they're back to being just one of the best teams again. Brendan Rodgers gets criticism because he says cheesy things and all that kind of stuff and his teams aren't perfect but he's never had anything close to the budget well he did maybe when he was at Liverpool initially but that was a long time ago and even that Liverpool team were very good they bottled it just but that was a good Liverpool team you know and he built that team on pace intelligence and even though they didn't have the steam to go the full way um that was uh, that's understandable. He was a young manager. I know he went to Celtic, and Celtic isn't exactly uh, a test from really giving his credentials. But he did basically win everything there. He won everything constantly, which is what you'd expect of a manager whose stature in a league of that stature, with all due respect to the Scottish League compared to the Premier League. Um, but he's come back and he's done once again very well. He's got the best out of Sionko. He's got the best out of Elijah Chilwell. Um, uh, he's got the best out of like Madison and all this kind of stuff. He's made. He's reinvigorated Vardy yet again. He's just a very good coach. And Manchester City do actually like him. That's basically uh, the rumours around uh, the boardroom that City do rate Brendan Rodgers, and rightfully so. He's only young still as a coach, um, and someone will take a punt of him, and at some point he will win some things, Brendan Rodgers, uh, in one of the top leagues because he's a good coach. Next one is a bit of a wild card. Uh, Bielsa. Uh, <laughs> some people would want to see Bielsa. I mean, this is crazy, potentially. Um, the thing about Bielsa, he is 64 now. Uh, he's been around for a long time. You have to go back to the 90s. Yes, the 90s to find the last time he had success at club level. And that was back in Argentina with Newell's old boys and Vela Sarfield when he was winning trophies for them. Um, he manages a lot, Bielsa. He goes around and he goes around and... He kind of is very up and down. He starts really well. His teams look really exciting, but then they tend to burn out. And he looks like he's actually found a home where he's really happy at Leeds. You know, last year was very similar to the Bielsa that people tend to know from managing clubs. Um, that They started really well and then they burnt out. But this year, unfortunately for him, uh, it looks like they were going to do it before the season was basically, well, paused uh, ahead of being cancelled. Maybe it won't be cancelled, but we don't know. But Bielsa is a good manager. Some people, myself included, actually, think it'd be kind of funny to see him given the budget that Manchester City have. Um, 
Maybe he suits England. He seems to be loved by the Leeds fans. He's definitely improved a whole bunch of Leeds players. He plays good football. Uh, he genuinely passes it around really well. The fans love him. The players love him. Um, the only thing I would say is that he has a, a rep of maybe not really finishing the job. And if you're going to be Manchester City manager, you have to be able to do that. But who knows? Another one comes from Guardiola's mouth himself. Uh, Marcello Gallardo, the ex-player, uh, a very good football player in his heyday. Uh, Guardiola said this to TNT Sports a few months back. Uh, what Guardiola has done with River is incredible. Some things are inexplicable. Every year, three coaches are named the best in the world, and he's never among them. I can't understand it. It's as if there's nothing else in the world apart from Europe. Guardiola likes this guy, and rightfully so. And do you know why he likes him? Because he's a winner. Gallardo seems to just love winning trophies. He tries to win everything with River Plate, and he's won quite a lot already. He's won the Copa de Libertadores in 15 and 18, and he was run up last season as well. And uh, he became the most successful a River Plate coach in history with 10 titles, which is some doing for a, a club of their stature and their historic nature. Um, he's Bielsa, Pochettino, Guardiola influenced. He loves that high pressing and controlling the midfield. And he loves to kind of switch up his tactics as well. Who does that remind you of? Basically, he's very much kind of cutting the image of Guardiola and Guardiola likes him too. And you've got to bear in mind that managers of Guardiola's stature usually tend to have a say in their successor. I would not be surprised if Guardiola is saying to Shiki, look, Gallardo could be your man. Maybe he could be indeed. And other than that, there's a whole bunch of other names. I've just grouped all these guys together because, you know, why not? And um, Marco Rose is also a current uh, favourite over in the Germany. Um, he's done really well at Mönchengladbach. He's a mate of Klopp's as well. At uh, Mönchengladbach, he's known for his attacking football. He did really well as well over in Austria with RB Salzburg. Um, he started the league at one season with 10 wins, which broke the previous record. Um, he did really well in the Europa League as well, getting him to the quarterfinals before they were knocked out against Napoli. Uh, he's currently a very hyped manager Marco Rose and he could be a good bet elsewhere maybe Vincent Company, maybe Vinny can prove that he can manage it and elect um after a slow start there, he has started to get him back on track I reckon it's a long-term project for company who knows maybe next season he starts to improve Anderlecht to the point where they're winning trophies as well. And then maybe Company can make a triumphant return. And one thing we know about Company is that he's a leader and he will do whatever it takes to win. So fingers crossed. Maybe someone like Patrick Vieira. There were some reports recently that City still are paying attention to him. I'd be surprised personally given the fact he's got a lot to prove and he hasn't done that well. He did quite well at New York, uh, but Nice he's done kind of okay. Uh, but he will very much be there. And then maybe we could get someone with a different style. Maybe the likes of Ancelotti, you know. We've talked about a lot of managers here that could replace Guardiola. With the idea being that they'll carry on with the same kind of football. But maybe you go someone different. Maybe an Ancelotti. Maybe a Diego Simeone. We could go totally different. Who knows? But guys, that's just a list. I'm sure I've missed out someone on this list. Let me know in the comments below who you want to be the replacement for Guardiola in the future. It's a horrible question, but we're going to have to answer it at some point. Fingers crossed someone on this list can step in. I just want Guardiola to stay for many, many years. Thank you as well to all these guys, the patrons, to keep this channel going. Seriously, I love you all absolutely loads. Patreon.com forward slash esteem company if you want to help support this channel a tiny bit. For now, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.